Spanish mackerel, is it? Better not How about be. wheeling me and go drown the damn thing? Back in the day when all this wasn't here, there was a handful of us and everybody had a everybody had a nickname. So uh, when I first moved over here, I had a buddy and we just called everybody cuz. If you didn't know who you were, your name was cuz. And um, one fella was pretty much responsible for it. Um, Hollywood, Brent Shavers, who had a called a Captain Bly out of here. He nicknamed a bunch of us, and mine ended up being that guy that always calls everybody cuz, so they ended up calling me cuz. I guess I sold my other boat. It's still out here fishing. It's called a Fairwater 2. I got this boat, I bought it, and I named it Just Cuz, Just Cuz. Actually, Sean, grandfather, actually helped do all the interior work and all that. So uh, that was pretty cool. I got, Sean started working for me when I bought this boat. This trip's a little different because um, these girls have never been out fishing before. So that's, that's kind of what we do. We take folks that never been and just want to go have a good experience. That's the main thing we're trying to provide for these folks is a good experience, just the whole package. We're gonna try to get on some mingos. We'll uh, got plenty of live bait, so we'll go try to catch them something big like amberjack or big snappers or something, you know. I've got that little squid for him today. We're gonna go out here, use it for a uh, white snapper, vermilion snapper, maybe get some scams while we're out here. Cut it up small, more, more hooking. So a lot of guys like to use the big old piece of bait, you know. I try to tell people, you don't need a lot of bait, you know, more hook exposed the better, you know. We're not fishing for giants, but it's, uh, we're fishing for, you know, dinner. This is a, we call, we call them, some people call them squirrel fish, I call them rock bass. Everybody calls them a different name, but they're pretty good eating once they get kind of big. What I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get the air out of them. You don't get the air out of them, he won't do right in live. Well, we're gonna use him for a AJ bait later. So, nice squirrel fish here. Got another catch and release snapper right here. So we're gonna toss him back in the water here. Got a trigger fish here. Get some bigger snappers here. Got a trigger fish here that this lady caught. That's what we want right here, y'all. Nice. That's what we after right here, y'all. About 60 of these. So they're here. I see him down there. He's coming up from the depths. Yeah, this is another catch and release red snapper right here. So we're going to let it go, put it back in the water for next for next snapper season for us. Oh, Bring him on in the hole. Bring him over here. Good job. Good job. Bring him right there to that deck mate. Whoop, whoop, we're just gonna lose him. Get the squid on the camera, man. Alrighty. And they're good. There we go. Nice vermilion snapper there. Try not to drop them in the water. <laughs> uh, the, the way the limits work on the Mingo is, sadly, we, we don't count as part of the limits, so our customers were a six pack boat, so we only get. 10 mingos per person, six people at 60 mingos. So right now we're at 55 go. to go. So we got five fish in the boat, Mingo. about five minutes of fishing, can't complain. So, but uh, king mackerel and Spanish mackerel, we do count for those, but you can't catch yourself 16 king mackerel. Good luck on getting rid of all that meat. <laughs> got one up over there, Matt? Regulations have us do this, venting right here whenever we catch these fish. They say to put it right here about, then you put this in him and you'll hear the air come out. Just kind of push that air out of him, and he should go right back down here. Right, let, him, let him go right here. 
right down. This is a, what we like to call a white snapper right here. They're a very good eating fish and makes it a little bit more of a mixed bag for everybody once we get, get out here about 20 miles. So we're gonna throw him in the box. We can have 100 pounds of these if we want them. So they, they do not count toward our 60 mingo limit. So, all right. Yeah. Get these in the boat. Y'all get two of them like that. Y'all go ahead and bring them in the boat. What? All righty. Y'all put a hurting on them already. Things are almost like they're a rock eater. They got some teeth on them that are pretty. Look at them teeth on them. They got, you can tell they eat barnacles, you know what I mean? She got a big ugly. That's what we call big ugly right there, y'all. Usually they call it big ugly because uh, whatever, whatever you wax off a wreck, this is all that's left, but I don't think we wax this one yet. But they're actually called, it's a part of the red porgy family. So good eating fish, just as good as a white snapper. So we're gonna throw them in the box. Don't count as part of that 60 fish limit. All right, well, y'all bring them up. We go around here and hit another one. Right, we're we're fixing to head down here to the golly hole. Because when you get down there and you see the poles all bend, they all go, golly. We call it the golly hole. It's gonna make us a little later than I planned on. But we're gonna go over here and see if we can catch a big something or another like a big amberjack or a big snapper, maybe a scamp. They down here, we just, you gotta go try them. You don't go try them, you're not gonna catch them. So, we're gonna give these guys a shot at something big. When you hold it up on the rail, hold that part. Now hold your pole, don't let go of your pole. You all right? You're wearing me out. There you go, hey, top it right there. Let me show you something. When you pick it up like that, see, look, look at that pretty bee liner. Woo, we got him. Yeah, that's a pretty one there. I don't make several fish sandwiches. <laughs> what you got there, Willis? Oh, no. What you got? <laughs> and watch out, something will come up and eat him. <laughs> Big snapper or amberjack? Giving up like a snapper, ain't he? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 the good one. See what he is. Little small amberjack. Here he comes. Then a little baby. I thought you had something. There you go, you got his hammer jack. We happy about it. We just catching them and throwing them back anyway. Whoa, watch out! Uh oh, he's probably gonna have a headache now. Yeah, we headed back in. Pretty day. We've been fishing for about, I don't know, we left at seven. Been out for about six hours. Caught, um, caught a bunch of different fish, about 10 species. Um, we targeted vermilion snapper, caught a lot of trigger. Caught, we didn't catch many snapper today because we weren't fishing for them. We didn't manage to catch one amberjack thanks to um, Matt. Probably should have caught more. But uh, we did lose a big wahoo, so we're trolling wahoo lines right now. We got about six trolling lines out. Uh, probably end up catching at least a king mackerel or bonita or something, but we're trying for a wahoo. That's our target species right now. We still got about a couple of hours ride, and uh, hopefully between here and there we can get that bite. Good fish, reel on him, reel on him, reel on him, don't stop. Get it down a little bit. Don't need to try to dead boat this fish because he'll run up on the line, and uh, he runs up on the line and cause it to get slack. So we want to kind of keep, it, keep the boat moving. So keep a good, tight line on him. I've been wanting to hear that drag go off all year. Well, <laughs> you got to hear it go off finally, then. Sound like one, a chainsaw. One out of the six reels finally went off. <laughs> He's staying way up top too. Yep. I got to give him all I got. He don't want to get in the boat. Cause it's a white barley, I think. There we go. That's a nice, good giant wahoo. Oh my God. That's a wahoo from hell right there, son. Go back, Tony. Back up, man.
Sky Cape Boys. Boys. Is it on the black and red? Yes, sir. That's 80 pounds right there. Oh, That's 100. 100, you think? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's 100 pounds. I know this gap went to break when I went to pull it Good up. Lord. <laughs> that's some footage for you. Dude, that's oh. a world record battle right here. You can mount that big. Oh, You'll never shit. catch one like that. So, again. hey, we gotta get Philip. We gotta send it. Philip caught something. Dang. That look, you need to get look that picture with you. Look how wide his look, back uh, is. You need to get back there and hold him. I'm gonna get that picture. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hold on now. Somebody's gonna take Oh, oh shit. He said. <laughs> What, the 50 pounds? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me help. Yeah. When he gets him up there, I'm going to get on the side of him. Right. Hold up. I'm going to get there with you. You ready? Yeah. One. Two. You can't pick him up off the deck, brother. <laughs> yeah, help take the tail off. You got him? Yeah. Yeah, got him. Yeah. Woo! Yes, sir! Woo! Yeah! yeah. Golly, because you know how close we are to where we caught that other one? <laughs> Probably a mile. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Hey, like that's I said, it. Orange beer. Yeah. Just hey, cut. Just cut. <laughs> that's what we do. We're just coming off of our lunch break and getting ready to start cleaning up the boat. We walked up front. Next thing you know, Rod's bowed over, doubled up, lying, screaming. Didn't know what we had on there at first, but we knew it was something good. Fought him for about 15, 20 minutes and got it up to the deck and realized it was a, a beast of a wahoo. About 70, 72 inches long. One of the biggest ones I've ever caught. And it only happened out here with just cuz. Great, great time we've had today. And that right there is a, that is a monster fish. I really enjoyed it and I will be back. Man, my fine co-captain, deckhand, Sean, has been wanting a big wahoo since we've been on this boat. Caught a couple of snakes. We lost a fish earlier today, probably a pretty good fish, so look, water looks pretty. We've been waiting for it all year to get like this. So instead of fishing any more bottom spots, we decided to spend our time putting our trolling lines out and trolling toward the house. Well, they hollered at me and thank God we had 250s out, 250 wide internationals, the old reels belonged to a friend of mine, Bruce Frichter. Probably been more fish caught on those reels than, than I could carry off in this boat. And the long and the short of it is we just boated what I'm going to say be a 90 pound plus wahoo. It's 70 something inches long, got a real big girth. Bottom line is we got a good fish, happy charter, and that's what we do here on Just Cause.